what's up youtube family welcome to today's video today is all about capture one i'm going to be introducing you to a tool that has helped improve my work really quickly um if you use capture one like me and you love capture one i'm sure that one of the things that you love about capture one is the layers feature right you can create layers in capture one and make adjustments to certain parts of your images in capture one now um, when you want to make adjustments you know that you have to do something called masking or selecting um, this can be a problem sometimes because you know you just want to get it perfect to make sure that there's no spill and it can take you know sometimes hours those of you that do this know what i'm talking about now capture one has come up with this feature called ai select and ai select is this tool that helps you to select things that could take you like an hour it will take you literally a second so it's an amazing tool it's almost like a cheat code and at first it was kind of difficult for me to figure out how to use it but i kind of nailed it now so i want to share with you guys exactly how to take advantage of this tool 100 percent so let's just jump straight into capture one and we'll start from there okay so again yeah, we have an image here i shot here interestingly i shot this with my nikon d700 it's a 12 megapixel camera but we're still able to create this amazing image with the camera you can see here d700 and this image is completely edited already i think i posted this on instagram already but um i want to show you or use this image to kind of show you what i mean by um, the ai select feature so i am just going to go to the original image and reset this to the start so this is exactly how the image was shot now one thing i like to do with my images most times in capture one is i like to change the icc profile I usually like to use this um, Leica monochrome, um, what's it, M10 monochrome. And this is something that I just like, I just like the feel of it, right? It mutes most of the tones and it gives the image like, kind of like a flatter base to start with. You know, those of you that shoot the video, kind of like log, not exactly, maybe like flat. So um, while I have this, let me just do two by three for this, for this video. Now, while I've done this, you would notice that I like what it has done to the background and the skin and her skin, but not necessarily her dress because her dress is now kind of like orange. It's no longer red. So to do that, I could just, you know, select reds and and increase the reds, but um, or change the hue a little bit and change saturation. But if I did that, it would also affect her skin and every other thing. So we want to create a new layer by clicking add. And we're just going to name this layer um, jacket, right? That's what she's wearing. And normally you would come to your brush here and you would try to press M and then you try to start, you know, selecting her jacket like that. Capture One also has this one called the magic brush. It's also a good tool. You could just do this and it would select, you know, it does an amazing job as well. But let me show you what AI, AI Select does. So with AI Select, all you need to do is come down to AI Select and just hover over any part of the image where you feel like you want to select. So once I do this, you see that it completely selects the whole dress and it selects it perfectly. So you can just click on that. And once you click, the selection is done. Now, what can be confusing about AI Select is that because you're still in the tool, anywhere you go with your cursor, it kind of shows you a pre-selection. So the fact that the background is red here does not mean that it's currently selecting the background. You see that the actual selection is a deeper red, whereas the pre-select cursor or the pre-select icon is a lighter shade of red. Now, to get rid of any of this red, you just need to move away from the auto-select tool. I do that by pressing V. Now V moves you to a different tool. I can see that after we've pressed V, we still have our selection now you see that it's not it's perfect on the edges which is what i feel like the strength is but you see that in areas like our hands here it didn't quite select all these areas so we can go back to it by pressing b and then just hover over those areas so i'm just going to click select here and so right now it's selecting some of our fingers as well but that's not a big deal we can always deselect that as well so once you do that you see that we have selection in those areas now. Now, just as this AI select is also an AI eraser as well. So we're just going to go to AI eraser and just click on a hand. And that way it deselects a hand completely. And like that, we have a perfect selection. 
Okay, so I'm sure that when we were selecting there, it kind of thought that this shadows here was part of it, but we can also use our AI um, this to deselect this now. Um, sometimes you might have issues like you're trying to deselect this and it's deselecting this area as well. Um, a quick solution or an easy thing to do is to click and drag. So you can just click and drag and it kind of knows to deselect the area that you've just clicked and dragged. So once you do that, you press your V, now we have a perfect selection. You can also click and drag to select. Um, so I'll show you an example for that. But before I do that, let's just do something with the jacket. So we selected her jacket, we can um, go to advanced and just select the color and just push the hue a bit. So that way, increase saturation and maybe reduce lightness a bit. And that way we get that crimson red jacket back. So before and after. Okay, so this can really help with things like when you want to color grade, when you want to make specific edits to parts of the image. Um, another option you can do is do something called a subject select or a background select. So I'm just going to click on background here. And the moment you click on background, uh, you just wait a few seconds and it does an amazing job. So you see background mask already created. And when you press M, you see that it has selected the background perfectly. So I could ha add like a hue or something to the background. So let me just go to um, maybe the shadows in the background and add like a green tone to it or maybe like a cyan to it. So just like that, you can, you know, do things to your background and not just like add colors. You can make your background darker. You can do things like bring the brightness down and the selection is perfect. So it doesn't really feel like you know this was done in post so you can do things like that you can if your background is too grungy you can reduce clarity you can reduce structure basically think of any edits you want to do you can do you can do it so let's just explore this further and i'll create a new layer and name this face all right so i name that face and i'm going to press b again for my ai select tool I'm just going to hover over her face. So hovering is showing you, it's going to select her face. It's also going to select parts of her hand and I don't want that. So I'm just going to click and drag like this. And that way I can get to select only the face. And the moment you let go, it has selected it, even though it's not showing like this. Um, that's why I just want to point out. The fact that my, the red is currently showing on the background is because my hand is hovering over the background. If I pressed M, you will see a darker red around her face to show you where the actual selection currently is. So you press V to move away from that tool and you can zoom in. Uh, you can see that it's skip the eyes here. So you can just use a normal brush if you want to, or you can still use the eye mask. It will still work just to perfect it. Now I chose this image because this is an actually challenging image because it's moody and there's a lot going on. So um, here I feel like her face because I'm using the light to light her, her legs here and it's a bit warmer, I like the tones here more than the tones on her face. So I'm just going to go to my white balance and make it warmer a bit. And that should just match her face and her legs a little bit better. So before and after. Um, you can also do things like create or just select a particular part of the image and apply a style or a preset just to that part of the image. So these are the unlimited capabilities that um, AI Select brings you in Capture One. It makes things really fast. Um, things that would have taken hours to do, you can do them in seconds. I can't imagine if I had to select this jacket um, by myself, that would have taken a while. And I'm not sure if I want to do that. So, um, so that's just showing you what that does. And this is the final image that I actually came up with when I edited this picture and posted it on Instagram. Um, if you want to know how I did this or how I edit in Capture One, how I color grade, I have an amazing course. It's a two hour course teaching you everything you need to know about Capture One. I also have a preset pack. I'm going to put links in the description below for you to buy those. Uh, let me know guys, was this video helpful? Did you learn something? Have you used this tool before? Um, just let me know in the comments section below. Do you think that Lightroom has something better? I know that Lightroom has some interesting tools for selecting as well. I just like Capture One really. It handles colors better for me. Let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, cheers guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Share the video with your friends. And yeah, bye.